Hey guys, this is Sir Alex Minecraft again, bringing you an updated Emerald Market tutorial. Uh, it was updated since the last time I made a tutorial, and there are some cool new features, so I thought I'd show you. But I'm going to start off with how to create a standard shop. The standard shop has infinite stock, and when players buy and sell from it, uh, no one gains emeralds because no one owns the shop. So it's good for, you know, a multiplayer server where someone just buys items without a limit. The only limit is how much money they have. So for a shop with infinite stock, you uh, type em space create shop and then hit enter. It'll tell you to right click a block. So you right click your Emerald Market shop and it'll say it created it. Then you open it up and you'll see a screen like this. And we have to add items to it if we want to have it be able to sell items. So you're going to hold the item in your hand and it has to be the number that you want it to sell at one time. So if I wanted to only sell five iron ore at a time, I'd have to make sure I put five there and hold five in my hand. And then type slash em add uh, how much it costs to buy the item, so ten, so it would charge people ten emeralds for the five blocks. And then if someone sells it to the shop, they would get two emeralds. And then it'll say action was saved, right click a block right click tell you it was added you open it up and you'll see iron ore this item costs 10 emeralds left click the item to buy it for this item you get two emeralds right click the item to sell it and this is a lot better than the old GUI for emerald market as it was very confusing to tell which of the two prices you were going to buy or sell for so this update is really nice. So that's a basic shop. Um, and then the nice thing is that all of your emeralds are stored in a bank account. So to access your bank account, you need to place a diamond block and do slash em create atm. I must have typed that wrong. Missed an e. There we go. Then you right click and then you open it up here. And each one of these blocks, as you can see, represents its own little section. And each one can hold 2,304 emeralds. So you'd click on it to open it, and you'd see it's filled with stacks of emeralds. And each one can be filled with an entire section, all of these, just tons of emeralds. So if you imagine all this space filled with stacks of 64 emeralds and multiply it by all this space of the number of safes you can fit in there. So, you know, it can definitely hold a lot. And then you can easily just withdraw or deposit your emeralds. And you don't have to do it one by one. You can shift click to take the whole stack or deposit a whole stack. So that's an ATM. And now this is the shop that is mainly used on my server is called a private shop and with this shop you the player who owns it has to stock it but they will also get the emeralds that people pay when they buy items so that one's kinda cool and all the emeralds will be automatically added or subtracted from your bank account so for this kind of shop you do slash em create private right click and as you can see it looks different than the other shop but that is because I own it so this time I do slash em add 10 2 for the buy price and the sell price add it to the shop and it says it was added to the shop right click the shop to open the store and deposit the items so as you can see there's not a whole lot here there are zero items in stock there are 
the amount of iron ore that is sold at a time is 5, the price is 10, and the sale value is 2. So I'd click on this to open the stock, and I'd deposit the items. And now, as you can see, it says items 26. And so for a better example how this works, I'm going to show you my other shop. And as you can see, there's a one block for each of the different items. And this is each little section. So if I, op if I want to deposit melons, I'd click on the watermelon to open the watermelon section. And there's all these melons or steak. And then you can add or remove items from there. And the nice thing is if you don't want people to buy an item, you only want them to sell it to the shop so that you get the item, you would do something like slash em add zero for the buy price, which means they cannot buy it, and two for the sell price. So this means um, they can sell 21 coal for two emeralds every time they sell 21 coal you will get the 21 coal and you will give them two emeralds so this is nice if you want to buy certain items but don't want people buying them from your shop if you want to get the items and vice versa if you want to sell an item but you don't want people to sell the item back to your shop so that's pretty much this entire tutorial um, if you think I missed anything, please leave a comment down below, and I think that's it, so I click you goodbye.